Hey guys, Max Opie Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Dark Rising. In the last episode, we fought, um, I believe, White and Black Kiram up here at the entrance to this uh, area here, which is Amaris's mansion, which looks strangely familiar to something else from another game. But it's not, it's a mansion, and we are going to explore it in this episode because we were going to do it last episode, but we ended up fighting the Kirams, and they turned out to be really, really overleveled, of course, like all of the um, trainers have been in, been in this game. They've been pretty overleveled for just the start of the game. It's been pretty freaking weird, but whatever. So we're going to explore this place in this episode, and hopefully... Hopefully get us some answers and try and figure out what's going on and where we need to go next because I don't believe we actually are very far in this game. Um, we are probably not even halfway done with this game. It's a pretty long game and it's taken me a long time just to get to this point. But as of right now, we only have three badges and our Pokemon are really, really high leveled for, like I was saying. The Pokemon are really, really, our Pokemon are really high leveled for only three badges. Um, and it doesn't do me any good to put up a repel, I guess, because apparently you can run into mag, I mean magnetons, um, unknowns that are level 99. Never heard of that happening before, but apparently anything can happen in this game. Um, really, we're kind of far behind as of right now on levels, I guess, because we're supposed to be way higher level than we actually are, I guess. But I feel like if I was to train any more, I would be super overleveled. And I was trying to not do that, because I wanted to make the game somewhat more difficult, I guess, for me, if you would call it that. Not really difficult, but just somewhat more of a challenge. I didn't want to just fly through it with Pokemon all at level 99. As we found another Calcium, and Zinc, Zinc, Calcium, whatever. Alright, so obviously, obviously, repels don't seem to work on those unknowns, so I'm not going to worry about those guys, but uh, we will have to be touching the Mewtwo statues, apparently, and I want you guys to just see this. The level 99 unknowns are coming into play big time, and I don't like it. Alright, so we are going to have to touch some of those... Um, Mewtwo statues, so let's just start with this one here up top. And this opens this gate here, which is going to lead us to a Pokemon trainer who has a level 47 Sableye. Pretty awesome little Sableye you got there, man, but uh, I think Big Team, you can probably take it as long as it doesn't hit itself in confusion one more time. That would be great. And I didn't see what else you were bringing out. Oh, Weezing, of course. Well, Zen Headbutt should do the trick on the Weezing and an Arbok. How about we snap out of confusion on this turn, Victini? That's right. But then miss your uh, Headbutt. That's... Oh, man, you... But anyway, let's see. We got some stairs to go down as well. More level 99 unknowns. Um, I think I'm going to go down the stairs. Ooh, and a level 60 Spirit Tomb. I'm going to go down these stairs here and see what we have down here. An HP up. Okay. Looks like we have to fall down one of these places, so I'm going to fall down the farthest one right here and see if this leads anywhere. Um, I see that there's some plants in the way. Oh, no, there's not. I thought the plants were in the way of the door, so we weren't going to be able to get out. Did my repel wear off? Yes, it did. Okay. Well, I'm going to look around here, and I can't go here, so can I go out this? No? Alright. Well, I'm just going to go down the stairs then. And it seems like we're getting closer to where we need to go. We have all of these, um, team, team, these dark thugs out here. And they got some pretty strong Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to Thunder Punch you and Shadow Ball you, maybe? I believe you're dark type, so I don't think a psychic would affect you. Counter. Well, it's a good thing. Um... Let's go Signal Beam, and let's go Hypnosis. Muna hasn't been- I mean, Musharna has not been doing too well in terms of the team. 
I'm actually starting to think we should replace it because I don't really have any use for it. It hasn't really been much use for us. And it hasn't really been doing its job. It's kind of been there, really. It's just been there. Everybody else has kind of been moving on up and been learning new moves and stuff, but I believe I evolved it way too soon because it is not learning any new moves. And it's got a pretty crappy move set as of right now. Alright, here's another one. A full restore. I'm going to touch that Mewtwo statue and see if that does anything. It's already pressed, but I'm going to press it again and turn this off. Which should open up Shadow Tag. Of course you have Shadow Tag. Go away, your mask. Alright, I need to put up another repel. And we need to go that way, I guess. Muna, I mean, yeah, whatever. Mushana, you need to freaking level up because we're running into level 60s. Uh, what do we got here? Scolipede. I'm gonna Shadow Ball, the Bronzong, and I'm gonna Rock Slide both of them. Well, never mind. Muna just died. I don't know why I keep calling it Muna, it's Mushana, but it just died. Mmm. Magical Leaf to Bronzong, and we'll Rock Slide one more time. That will take out the Scolipede and do some work on the Bronzong. It is getting some Calm Minds up though, so I think we're gonna have to gonna have to take this thing out. We got the stat boost though on the Ancient Power. Uh, I don't know if that did us any good. Um, let's get the Sludge Bomb and Water Pulse. It's part Steel type. I thought it was just part. Um, Psych I thought it was just Psychic type as a Bronzong, but I guess not. Obviously, I think we're going the right way. We need to... Ooh, TM14. I didn't see what that was, so I will look at it real quick. Blizzard. Wow. Um, I believe I need to turn this switch here. Yeah, this takes us over here to... Hello? Hmm. You resemble him so much. Uh, who are you? Amiris? You got it! Judging by your effort on finding me and already knowing who I am, I can tell you're the new chosen one. If you've come for answers, I may be able to provide you with some. Although, if my guess is correct, you've already gained all the knowledge to stop the crisis. I have one thing. I don't know where my father and Arceus is. I have the Jewel of Life with me. After I rescue Arceus from its chamber, I'll defeat Darius and save my father. But I need to know where they are. I hear you. I'm afraid I do not know the location of your father or Dargus, but while I was being chased, I overheard a couple of goons being controlled by Dargus. They spoke of Arceus's chamber. It is deep within the... Amaris's body suddenly started shaking as her eyes turned different colors. What the? What's going on with you, Amaris? A tail suddenly appears on Amaris's body. Greetings, Amanda. I am Dargus. Hello? Looks like Amaris just got taken over by Dargus and has six Pokemon here. Leading off with a Frostless level 61. Uh, well, we're going to need to switch out. And we can't because of Shadow Tag. So, what are we going to do? We're going to Water Pulse. That's what we're going to do. And hopefully live. We got the confusion though, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up with my super potion because we don't have any hyper potions while I had the chance. Oh, and great, you got four restores. That's awesome. I hope they're not wanting us to defeat this person because I, on one hand, don't want to do that. Ice punch, not very effective on me. But Frostlass does go down. Now a Porygon 2. Alright. Do we have anybody that has any fighting type moves? Alright, we do have Electros. So I'm going to switch into Electros here. And hopefully take out this Porygon 2. Level 61 though. We're going to go for a Drain Punch. And that should give us back our HP that we have lost already. Yeah, it should definitely do that. 
And then hopefully the Porygon doesn't have anything to attack us with. It has Ice Beam though, which shouldn't do too much to us. Hopefully, because it isn't stab. This Drain Punch might take it out if we get max damage. And we don't though, obviously. But I am going to get my HP back. Ooh, Psychic though, that is probably going to hurt. Not too much. Electros did pretty good. Very proud of Electros and it's surprising me a lot. I'm liking it more and more as I use it. Alright, we got Porygon 2 taken out. Now she's going to send in Chandelure. Um, obviously, I'm going to switch back into Caracosta just for the water advantage. I'm going to Super Potion. Ooh, Psychic is going to do a lot though. Let's go into Meganium actually and let's Ancient Power it. Get the stat boost. And you know a fire type move. I knew you would, but I just assumed maybe you wouldn't. Alright, so let's try a signal beam. That's not very effective. Oh, you're dark type. Sin headbutt then should work out pretty good. Why did he flinch though? That or she flinched. That's weird. Alright, Salamence is gonna have to come in though, and I guess Shadow Claw you. Hopefully we shouldn't need anyone else besides Salamence and I believe Musharna because we don't have anyone else to switch into. Oh, Electros. We don't have anyone else to switch into besides these two, so hopefully this Milotic isn't too bulky, but it looks pretty powerful, level 64. That's definitely, definitely a challenge for us. If it does not kill us and it gets paralyzed, we should be a- oh no, we're dead. Miracoat with the Thunderbolt is going to take out Electros, unfortunately. So I'm going to send in Salamence, and I believe that I do have some um, revives. I have a max revive. I'm going to use that on Electros, just because we're probably going to need it. Uh, and I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse on my Lotic. Ooh, Miracote is doing so much damage to us. Misharp. Uh, we're going to switch back into Electros because we do have Flamethrower, I believe. Yes, we do. Night Slash. This is level 64. This guy is pretty strong. This person is not messing around. Dargus, Amiris, whoever the heck it is. Um, looks like one more Flamethrower is going to take it out. Unless we get a crit on the Night Slash, which I think you can get crits on them, so that was pretty lucky there. But Bisharp is going to go down to the last Flamethrower. Um, hopefully... That's it. I believe they have... No, Togekiss. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to stay in because we can't bring out Salamence. Actually, I don't actually um, even know if they have the fairy typing in this game or not. I know in some of the older games they have ginned in the fairy typing because I know they did that in Pokemon Glazed. Uh, you have leftovers, of course. But I don't believe it is in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and Super Potion for a while. Psychic is gonna hurt. Oh, if we would just outspeed this Togekiss, that would be great. Nasty plot. Alright, so maybe if we can get lucky. Oh, it's got Roost too. That's lovely. If we could get lucky, we could totally take it out, but I don't know if we can. Yeah, Electros isn't gonna make it. Salamence, I do not know if you can take a hit from this thing. I'm gonna guess that you can't. And obviously you're not fairy type and you are increasing your special attack again. One more Dragon Pulse is going to do it for the Toga Kiss though and uh, we defeated trainer Amiris. Barely. Salamence coming in once again. I was too weak. Dargus is becoming incredibly strong. Azelf, Mesprit, Uxi, I'm sorry. Amiris? I'm alright. Don't worry about me. Please take the item on the ta table and continue on your journey ahead. It is the way he will- it, w it is the only way he will ever challenge you. Who's he? A forgotten gym leader who also guards and protects Arceus. With that item, he'll know you're worthy of a gym battle with him. I wish the best of you, Amanda. Please go on without me. I'll be alright. If you say so. Alright, well... We defeated Gym Leader, Gym Leader, I mean Amiris, 
And we got ourselves a puzzle key and a level 99 unknown. Please let me leave because I need to go heal up. And TM22 for a solar beam. So here we are on the other side of the Rosary Graveyard with a trainer waiting right outside. Um, I'm unfortunately probably going to die here and if I don't I'm gonna have to go back and heal up because I don't exactly know where the next place is to heal up at if it's even around the corner or not so who knows luckily this guy has only fighting types though so he's not a problem quick attack from a combuscan though is a bad thing we should not have that happening and I know that uh, that will not work on Scraggy, so I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Alright, so let me just try to... I guess I'm not going to be able to avoid trainers. So I am going to have to go back and heal up. Because I don't... Of course you have Shadow Tag. Level 20 Zorwa won't let me go away. So I am going to have... Fortunately, have to go back and heal up. Because we've got a lot of trainers here. That we're obviously going to have to... Fight... But then again, I'm going to have to go through all the puzzles again. This is really is not worth it to me. You know, I'm going to try to avoid those trainers and see if we can actually make it to a town or something. Because if I could avoid going back, that would be just great. I'm going to go around this way and see if I can avoid those guys. Oh, I also need to put up a repel as well. While I got my strongest Pokemon out here, which is the only Pokemon I have. Looks like we're going up to another cave and it's not going to be... And you want to battle me. It's not going to be a place where we're going to be able to heal up. So I am unfortunately going to have to go back and heal up at the Pokemon Center. Or I might not even have a chance to. Salamence might just kill itself in confusion. Luckily it didn't know. Um, I don't want to go over that way because I don't want that guy to fight me. Yeah, looks like I'm going to have to go back and heal up, guys. So, um, I'm going to end the episode off here. And then in the next episode, we'll continue on this route here. Taking on these trainers and heading into that cave there. I don't know what's in the cave. But, unfortunately, we'll have to wait until the next time to find out. Because our team is looking pretty dead right now. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Dark Rising.